Hi Aquarius, uh, welcome to Angel Love 333. Today we're going to do your love reading. Um, this is going to be a no contact reading, so if you have not spoken or heard from your person um, recently, we're going to ask the questions, uh, what is on their mind, will they reach out to you, and then what their upcoming actions are. So we'll do that. Um, additionally, I will pull some love messages uh, from your person, what they're feeling, and then we'll do the outcome, all right? So I hope everyone's doing well, staying healthy and safe. Everything else you need to know is in the description box. Uh, personal readings to enter uh, my monthly giveaway. I do give away uh, personal readings. And then uh, what else? Uh, lastly, my new channel called Heal to Love 333. It is a meditation, um, healing, and manifestation channel. Uh, the goal is to help you manifest love and abundance in your life. So I put some popular links below, so check that out if you like. Uh, please subscribe, like, comment. I do appreciate all of your support, and let's get started. So thank you, angels and spirit for your guidance. What is on uh, Aquarius's person's mind? What is on Aquarius's person's mind? All right, so you have the Two of Wands. You have the Three of Swords. You have the Three of Cups. And bottom of the deck here, you have the Hangman. All right. What I'm getting here is, um, hmm. I feel there's not a lot of movement in your situation, okay? Um, they're feeling like, their energy feels very indecisive to me. That feels like, um, I feel like they're feeling like you're not happy with them. <laughs> type of energy you have the two of wands the three of swords and the three of cups okay so i feel there's this energy that your person you know they they still uh are attached to you i feel energetically they still have a lot of passion for you but i feel there was some sort of hurt here there was some sort of hurt here uh, for some of you, I definitely get there could have been a third party situation. Somebody may have interfered between the connection between you. It could be another lover. It could be somebody else, you know, a family member, what have you, uh, even could be a work situation. But I feel like this person is really thinking about the future. Okay. So that crossroads energy, um, I feel like they're trying to figure out what to do here, okay? Because I feel like it, it's a complicated situation. Now, I'm also getting here to um, that they're going to start to see things differently. But you could be dealing with an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. You have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm going to clarify this two of wands, okay? Why are, why are they indecisive? What's this crossroads about? Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the two of wands here, please? Why is the two of wands here, please? Okay, you have the four of wands. You have the six of pentacles. All right. So they're thinking about long-term commitment here. And bottom of the deck here, you have the queen of cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So they definitely have feelings for you, all right? Um... You know, whatever this hurtful situation was, I was hearing that them seeing you hurting or maybe they know that you were hurting or whatever, or they know the pain that they have caused. I feel like that's why they are at this crossroads. I feel here it triggered their emotions for you here with the Queen of Cups. And it's not about the energy. I mean, it's not about the uh, male or female. It's about the energy. So you have, so it could be male or female, okay? Uh, but this is about their emotions, and here's your energy here with the star card. I feel I have a lot of emotions for you, but I, I get here too. There's a situation that I feel you feel hurt about, and I feel um, they know that. You have the four of wands, you have the six of coin, and you have the ace of pentacles. This is that crosswords energy. Okay, So they're trying to make the decision about a long-term commitment here. I do feel like they see you as somebody for the long term, 
all right but they know that if they go that route they're going to have to put the time and the effort into the connection for some of you this very well could be a twin flame connection if um, you're already feeling that all right Let's clarify the Three of Cups. Thank you, Angels and Spirit, for your guidance. Why is the Three of Cups here? You have the Sun card. Got strong Leo energy there. You have the Palace of Cups. Okay, the Hangman. Yeah, I feel like this is, you know, some of you can be a third-party situation. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Three of Wands again. You've got three threes here. Okay, if you're seeing threes, synchronicity of threes is... Uh, it may be a very important sign to you, but what I'm getting with the Sun card, you got strong Leo energy, the Palace of Cups, and the Hangman. I feel this person is starting to realize their feelings, their emotions for you, and realize that you are somebody who does make them happy. And they, I feel like they messed up in some sort of way here with the Three of Hertz. Three of Herds, Three of Swords. They messed up in some sort of way. Okay, they hurt you in some sort of way. And I feel here now they're exploring their options. Okay, they're exploring the options because I do get here with the full card too that uh, they want a new beginning. And look here, you have the Ten of Cups. Okay, so this person is at the, um, that crossroads right now. Now you have the Hangman and you have the Knight of Swords here. Oh, look at that. You have the Ace of Pentacles again. So you're the person is starting to, to see things differently and realize uh, how that how much they care and love you is what I'm getting and how they're feeling. Nine of Swords, okay? So I feel like there is going to be some sort of communication coming in. But let's get to that question because we haven't even gotten to uh, will they reach out. So thank you, Angels and Spirit, for your guidance. Okay, let's see what you got. You have here the Seven of Cups. You have the Chariot. And you have the King of Wands. And bottom of the deck here, you have the King of Pentacles. The interesting thing is, is with all of these readings, I've noticed when I ask the first question and uh, I can see the upcoming energy in the bottom of the deck, um, it's normally answered before I even get to where they reach out. So yes, I do feel like this person is going to <clears throat> reach out to you. As I said, I feel like this person is exploring their options. They're at that crossroads. I feel um, they're realizing their feelings and emotions for you. And I feel that um, they're trying to make the right decisions here. <clears throat> Excuse me. They may even be um, dreaming about you. I feel here as well. Um, you have the chariot, okay, could be dealing with a cancer. So I do feel like they want success in the situation. I do feel they are going to get past here what is uh, holding them up. Like I said, for some of them, it can just be the emotions here, okay? The emotions here are delaying them. They may have mixed emotions. They're not too sure what they want. They're weighing their options, that kind of thing. Okay, looking at the future. And then you have the King of Wands, somebody who's going to take action. You have the King of Pentacles as well. And you have the Ten of Pentacles. All right. So I do feel like this person is going to reach out to you. Okay. There could be some travel time too between you and this person. They may even personally, uh, you know, try to actually travel towards you and tell you this in person or you know communicate with you in person let's do uh their upcoming actions i feel like we already answered that as well but let's see uh there'll be more messages thank you angels and spirit for your guidance what are this person's upcoming actions what is um aquarius's person's upcoming actions let's get three cards Okay, so you have the Page of Wands, you have the Emperor, you have the Ten of Swords, let's get another card, you have the Five of Pentacles, huh, the Two of Pentacles, let's get one more, 
okay and you have the judgment card okay and bottom of the deck look at that you have the ten of pentacles again so i'm definitely getting communication <clears throat> We have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Um, again, strong fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. Also strong, um, strong Aries energy. So I'm definitely getting communication from this person. Okay, they are going to, um, <clears throat> I feel here, try to spark that passion again within you, communicate. Um, I do feel like this is somebody here with the Emperor and the Chariot card. This is somebody who likes to have things their way. Um, they like to be in control. That's probably why this person, they like to be in control because I feel this person may have a hard time being vulnerable. All right. Um, and this person may even hurt you because they never were able to express how they felt emotionally. This is somebody who may have held back. But I'm also getting here too, they are uh, definitely planning, I feel here, how to reach out to you. I feel they do see you as somebody that they could have a long-term uh, relationship with. You got the Knight of Cups here too. For some of you, this person, you know, depending on your situation, and I'm just going to say this isn't going to be all of you. For some of you, this person may ask you to move in with them. Uh, to show their love or this person may even uh, propose okay but for others it may just be this person is going to ask you to meet up okay but they um, if this is them expressing their feelings to you and trying to get things back to a stable place now the next cards you have okay so I feel with this ten of swords this five of pentacles Okay, so they may have made you feel left out in the cold in the past. And um, I feel with this two of pentacles, that's what they're going back and forth about. Okay, this is, uh, this person is trying to figure out, like I said, they're planning here. Um, you know, they're at that crossroads, another number two here. I feel, you know, they may be a, li a, a bit worried. So they're really trying to figure out how they're going to how they're going to do this. Yeah, have the judgment card here as well. Okay, again, decisions. Okay, so this person is in the process of making the decision, but their energy is coming towards you. Uh, for some of you, I feel too, because we talked about third party situation, you could have even been dealing with somebody who was juggling uh, with someone else or even somebody who was married in the past. Okay, or this could be somebody that you were married to as well as the energy that I am getting. So let's uh, pull the cards here. You know, I feel like this is more of a complicated situation than what I've had for other signs. And, you know, I'm getting here, you know, I do feel this person's coming towards you. But I really feel like you are going to have to... Um, make the decision okay whether you want to be with this person or not it feels very complicated to me um it feels like a lot of work i'm just gonna say i don't know why i'm getting that that may not be for all of you okay i feel like too spirit is telling you to explore your options as well so let's pull some love messages here for you aquarius from your person I remember every detail of that day. So this person does remember the first day you met or some special event. Okay, maybe this person may have talked about a lot, um, but they're thinking about that. Okay, they're thinking about, and as I said, I feel like they're being triggered here. All right. There, you know, if your person was with someone else, there may have been some karma here, some karma that needed to be released or they needed to learn something or um, learn how to express themselves emotionally you have oh, look at that I that's what I said I'm afraid to contact you yes I do feel that I get that very strongly I know that I crossed the line with you yeah they crossed a boundary with you especially if there was a third party situation going on here 
Look at that. I was just saying here, a karmic lesson. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. Yeah, they've learned a lesson with you here, Aquarius. Definitely there is some sort of lesson they have learned. So we're going to pull the possible outcome here in the situation. Thank you. Ooh, wow. Those came out quickly. So you have the Eight of Wands. You have the Temperance card, Strong Sag Energy. And you have the Devil card, Strong um, strong Capricorn. And look at that, bottom of the deck here, you have the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like this is the end of a karmic uh, cycle here. Okay, so this was meant to happen because I feel like your person had to go through this. Okay, um, I feel like your, your person is somebody who may learn uh, by doing or going through the actions than actually um, hearing it or see it, okay? So you could tell this person something all day long and they won't listen. <laughs> they have to actually go through it for it to happen. That's the energy I'm getting there. You have the Eight of Wands, you have the Temperance, and you have the Devil card here. Yeah. So they're definitely coming towards you is what I'm getting, okay? Their energy is coming towards you. I see communication. As I said, they may even travel towards you. I feel uh, they want success in the situation. That's why I feel like they are planning things. You have the temperance card here. Okay, so I definitely get here with the Wheel of Fortune and the temperance card. There is divine timing here in the situation. And then you have the devil card. Okay. So I feel this is right next to I know I crossed the line. So I feel there was something unhealthy or toxic about this situation. Um, there could have been a temptation, I feel, if there was a third party situation. I just want to clarify the devil. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the devil card here, please? You have the ten of coin the king of wands and the two of coin okay and bottom of the deck here you have the queen of coin i just want to caution you okay um i felt this energy and you're the first reading that i felt this i know this person's going to contact you i know this person's going to come back okay but really listen to your intuition this person crossed this line with you Okay, and if you ever heard the saying, you know, once a cheater, always the cheater, I kind of feel like this person may repeat the same behavior, whatever it is, whatever happened in the situation. And I just want you to know that. Just use your intuition. You have the, um, you have the uh, nine of coins, the king of wands, and you have the two of coins. I feel like uh, your person here uh, may be going back between you and somebody else. Even though I feel, you know, like I said, this person is making decisions here about the future. Some of you, this is a twin flame karmic situation. But I just caution you because I feel like this person could be somebody who um, could still be somebody who is going back and forth between you and somebody else, or if it's an addiction um, or something like that, or some toxic behavior. So uh, Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, again, details are below. Uh, if you want to request uh, a personal reading, if you want to enter my giveaway or check out my new channel. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.